Welcome to our exploration of ecosystems and spatial thinking. Today we're going to dive into the complex relationships that define our natural world and the spatial concepts to help us understand them. An ecosystem is a community of living organisms in conjunction with their non-living components of their environment interacting as an ecosystem. Consider this forest. It's not just trees and animals, but a web of life where everything is connected. Insects. Plants. Other animals. Bacteria. Fungus. All interact to make a community Rocks and water and air are abiotic or non-living things that interact in a community that develop into one big system. These systems can be tracked spatially. So let's introduce the concept of spatial thinking. It involves visualizing and interpreting location, distance, direction, relationships, movement, change in space. Using spatial thinking, we can analyze how ecosystems are distributed across the planet and how they interact with each other. For example, how does a drought in one region affect an ecosystem in another? This is where geographical information systems or GIS come in. GIS uh, can help us layer different types of data on a map. For example, in this image, I can take out uh, topography, or I can add some islands to a map of um, an area. These green spots are islands. I can add a tract of information, depth information which is then listed in a table. And you can see elevation. This is actually ocean depth. We can see their locations. By applying spatial thinking, we can attack or layer pr complex problems like climate change on different ecosystems and plan conservation strategies and much, much more. As future environmental scientists, urban planners, conservationists, policy makers, you'll use these concepts to make informed decisions about the environment. Take a few minutes to read about spatial uh, thinking in the next section. When you're done, record your thoughts in the class notebook.